Obito's signature move is Kamui, the ability to phase through things and also suck people into the Kamui dimension or even teleport elsewhere. An extremely powerful ability. However, a lot of people complain that Obito doesn't have to activate his Mangekyo Sharingan to use Kamui. People say it's a plot hole, people really hate that. But there is a reason for that, and a very good one actually. After watching this video, you'll definitely understand why. But before that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and like this video if you enjoy my content. So I've seen many, many theories about why Obito uses the three Tomoe Sharingan and then he's able to use Kamui with that, even though he shouldn't because, yeah, because Kamui is an MS ability. Now the first obvious explanation that we get is that we cannot see Obito's Mangekyo shape because otherwise we would know that he was actually Obito because he would have the same Mangekyo type as Kakashi and then it would be too easy to put two and two together. So obviously Kishimoto couldn't show us Obito Obito's actual Mangekyo before he is revealed. Actually, he shows us Obito's Mangekyo when he is still in the mask, but it's like one chapter before Obito is revealed, so it's like preparing you for the reveal. So him showing the Mangekyo there is preparing the viewer for the reveal and just further foreshadowing it. And to be honest, the Mangekyo Sharingan looks pretty damn cool in the mask, but if Kishimoto showed Orange Mask Toby with that Mangekyo, that would kind of ruin the reveal and all. So it's a good thing that we never saw his mangeki when he was in that state. Other people claim that Obito's Kamui, or at least the ability to face through things, is not a mangeki or showering an ability, and they use one statement by Madara to cement that argument. Not longer Obito was rescued by Madara and Zetsu, Madara tells Obito that he is surprised that Obito survived being crushed by a rock, and it was as though Obito phased through the rocks. So strange. A lot of people use that to say that Obito used Kamui when he was crushed by the rock to survive, but no, he didn't use Kamui in that situation, guys. First of all, if you're saying Obito shouldn't have survived being crushed by a rock, okay, yeah, because being crushed by things is a very effective way of killing someone and shown in anime, yeah. Onoki got smashed by two giant meteors and he was fine. As a matter of fact, he was much better than Obito, and you're complaining that Obito survived a rock. Also, it's obvious that the characters in the Naruto world are not like normal humans. They are more durable than normal humans. They can withstand powerful attacks. It's not as though you or me got crushed by a rock because that would definitely kill us, but Obito, no, he's a shinobi, even though he wasn't very powerful at that point of the story. He was still above a normal human, and therefore he had better durability, so he could survive something like a rock. And we can see it took a toll on him, even though it was like a relatively small rock. For the Naruto standard, it still did some pretty heavy damage to Obito and he had to be patched up by an entire half Zetsu and he had to be patched up by half a body worth of Hashirama cells. So if Obito had used Kamui to survive the rock, he would have been crushed, he would have just faced through it, huh? And he wouldn't have given his left Sharingan to Kakashi because he could just face through the rock and everything would be fine. So no, this claim is bogus. Madara's statement was much more foreshadowing for what Obito's abilities would eventually be. That was just a hyperbole by Madara. He was saying something in the lines of, Oh man, you were so fast. You were flying down there. Oh, I don't know how you survived. It's as though you phased through the rocks. It's the same thing. And yeah, it was foreshadowing for Obito's eventual powers. It's not that Obito could phase through the rocks without his manga cue because no, this is not how it works. But Daigo, then how did Obito use Kamui with his three Tomoe Sharingan? How is it possible? Well, do you want to really know the answer? Because get ready. He didn't use Kamui without his Mangekyo. Kishimoto is not stupid. He knew he couldn't show Obito's real Mangekyo pattern to the audience because he wanted the big reveal for Obito to be cool. But he also knew that making so that Obito could use Kamui without the Mangekyo would be weird and it would be breaking his own universe laws, essentially. So he found a way around it, a very elegant solution. We never see Obito's eyes when he is using Kamui. Never in the entire story. That's the advantage of a character wearing a mask, especially one like Obito's. When Obito is phasing through something or someone, for instance, we may see the hole in his mask, but it's black. We cannot see the eye within. And it makes sense because a mask is going to cover the light. It's not going to be as easy to see what's within. And it also serves to hide the Mangekyo Sharingan. It's artistic, it's menacing when you can't see someone's eye, and it works 
to hide the fact that Obito had the same Mangekyo as Kakashi. Also, when Obito is sucking someone else or himself into the Kamui dimension, we also do not see his eye. His mask hole, which the Kamui warping thing centers around, is completely blacked out. It's completely black as well. Every single time. Like I said, Kishimoto isn't dumb. He knows how to do stuff. Every time, Obito only shows Tobi slash Obito's Mangekyo when he is in the mask, when it's absolutely necessary, when he wants to emphasize the point, this guy is quote-unquote Madara Uchiha. Otherwise, he doesn't really have to show it, because Toby's standard design doesn't have the Sharingan, it's just that black hole in the mask. Even when he gets the white mask, the same technique is employed. Now, of course, now that Obito has a Rinnegan and a Sharingan and the contrast is rather neat, Kishimoto is showing the eyes much more often than not. However, every time white mask Obito uses Kamui to do anything, you do not see the Mangekyu or the Sharingan, you don't see the eye whatsoever, it's a black hole in the mask. And like I said before, the only instance we actually see the Mangekyo shape inside the mask was just before the big reveal, so it was definitely on purpose. We can easily say that whenever Obito has to use Kamui, he simply turns his three Tomoe Sharingan into the Mangekyo Sharingan, he uses Kamui, and then when he doesn't have to use it anymore, he deactivates, he deactivates his Mangekyo and everything is fine. Also, we can simply assume that characters are not really gonna be looking at his eyes all that often and they're not gonna be able to say, hey, this guy, he has a Mangekyo that looks like yours, Kakashi. First, because characters tend not to look at Sharingans because of Genjutsu, so it's very obvious why they wouldn't want to look directly at his eyes. And also because the eyes are gonna be covered by the mask, so it's not as easy to see within, like I said before, it makes sense. Now you may be saying, no, I swear to you, I saw Obito using Kamui with his three Tomoe Sharingan man. What's the deal with that? You can't say it's right here. Look, it's in the anime. Exactly. It's pure and simply an anime mistake. Nothing more than that, because in the manga, you never see Obito's eyes when he's using Kamui. And yeah, that was a pretty big mistake in the anime. They make a lot of those, actually. What can you do? Not Kishimoto's fault. The manga was good with that, so blame it on Studios Pierrot. Watch this other video right here for more entertaining Naruto content. Like this video you just watched if you enjoyed it and to help me out too. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already to help me out. Thank you so much for watching.